Okay, so this is to go over the settings tab within my Leo, just to make sure you understand where to go and what the purpose of this tab is for. So it's just as it says, it's the settings of your profile. So the first thing or the first tab here within settings, it's profile settings. So basically this is the information that you input when you set up your profile when just getting started on MyLeo. So it's your email address that you use to set up um, your profile, first and last name, phone number if you choose to input it in date of birth. Um, you can edit this information. The only thing you can edit is role and um, your email if this is what you use to set up this profile, if that makes sense. You probably will have to call um, Malio or send them an email to their customer support, like if you want to change out your email information. But yeah, so this is your profile um, information that was initially set up when setting up your profile within Malio. So the next um, tab is the company settings. So this is basically your company's information. So everything about D legacy accounting is what's going to exist here. Like who is the first um, point of contact when um, dealing with this company. So in this case, it's me, Ebony Dixon. Um, there's no suite for me. Um, my business address is here. Phone number, EIN, um, payment page. So this is something that basically you can put on your website if you want to, or maybe um, you have a product that you're set selling within your business and you say, hey, for this product, it's $25. So they don't have to search and, you know, hunt down, where do I pay? You can include this link and basically, um, it will allow them to pay X amount of dollars and it will, you know, go through the same process as if you were creating a invoice or if you were requesting payment from a customer. Uh, payment report. So that's basically if you want um, a payment report um, exported as a CSV. Um, and yeah, you can, this is where you input your customer, I'm sorry, company logo as well, or if you need to change that. Um, collaborators. So that's basically um, anyone that you invite to your profile that you want to help manage um, either your profile, like someone that's handling your accounts payable or invoices, um, you would give them access by inviting them through collaborators. Um, payment and approval. Um, basically is, you know, when you invite somebody to your profile, you sometimes want to limit the amount of access or have some type of checks and balances. So it minimizes the risk of your business being misused or mishandled. So say, for instance, someone is paying bills on your behalf um, and you set a internal control or internal workflow where you want them to or you want the system to send you um, an alert to approve anything over $100 or $20. Um, same thing for invoices. You can put payment or amount limits to where it has to be approved before it's processed. Um, I'm always a firm believer of setting internal controls because we would like for everyone to be honest, but that is just not the case with everyone. Um, so it's always good to set things up to where it is difficult to mishandle or misuse your business for personal use. Okay, so this is just checks and balances here. Email notifications, um, it's just that. So you can, you know, toggle off whichever you don't prefer to be alerted about. Um, if you have other collaborators, I would say keep all of these things. If you don't, if it's just you, you probably only want to know, um, you know, payment updates. Um, you probably want to know when someone schedules a payment. Um when a bill is coming up due, things of that nature. Okay, so the next tab is sync and import. So this is basically where you um, will sync or disconnect um, the third-party apps 
connected. So in this case, as I mentioned, I have QuickBooks Online connected. So I can choose to sync now because it shows the last time it was synced was um, today at 435, which was earlier this evening. I don't need to do a sync because it'll automatically do it. Um, disconnect if I chose not to have this um, third party software connected anymore, I would, this would be the place to disconnect it. Um, billing import. So these are, again, um, if you want to connect these third party platforms in, in an effort to pull bills, you can do so. Um, Gmail. So if you have invoices that come through your Gmail, your business Gmail, you can connect that Gmail. So it pulls into your Mylio account. So you don't have to search through your email. It will automatically pull that information for you. Um, pay bills, pay bills, email. So basically you can, um, forward any invoices to this email and it'll automatically show up here um, in Mylio, which is a good um, tool. I think like if you have a separate email, like bills at D legacy accounting, or if you have admin at D legacy accounting, um, you may want all the bills that come through that account to also be synced or also be added to um, Milio as an extra step. So nothing is kind of overlooked if you have someone else managing it on your behalf. Um, so it's just an extra layer of, or something else that can be added to your workflow that just kind of just works with what you already have set up. Um, payment methods. So basically this is, hold on one second. Okay. Just had to make sure there wasn't any information showing that I didn't want out there. Okay. So payment methods is basically how you want to pay a bill. So you can either pay by using your business um, account, like checking account, or you can link a um, credit card. So if you want to save on you know, maybe you have too many bills going out one month and you're like, okay, I need to kind of offset, you know, some of the bills that are going out this month and maybe you use a credit card um, and then pay it at a later date. But just keep in mind that whenever you use a credit card, they do charge you a 2.9% fee for that versus using a checking account. It, it will be free of charge and you can add um, other accounts if need be receiving method. So this is speaking in regards to when people are paying you, what options do they have to pay you? So let's look that look at that. Okay. So um, for me, I have it set up to where by default, the customer pays me to my bank account. Um, and the only way that they can pay, or they can pay me by using their checking account or credit card, but there is a 2.9% fee, um, like we talked about previously, but it is at the customer's discretion, or that is a cost that is passed on to my customers. So here it gives you the option either the customer incurs the fee, or you can choose to pay the fee on your customer's behalf. Um, and that's why I really like MyLeo because there is, isn't a lot of platforms that allows you to um, pass that fee on to the customer or the client. Um, and here you have that choice. Um, so yes, so that's that. And then billing is just that. How do you pay for this said um, third party platform. So if there is a situation where you're paying the 2.9%, um, how are you choosing to pay that? So you can set it up to where it comes out of a different, maybe checking account, or you can come out the same checking account, but this is where you would basically set that up. And then lastly, this is a support tab. The support tab is basically just that anytime you need help or you need to learn more about how this system works, um, you can come here and it gives you that resource. Um, if you have an issue with a bill payment is not going through or maybe a client or a customer is having some issues, you can start a chat with um, Mylio and kind of, you know, explain to them what's happening and they will help you um to the best of their abilities with the information that's given, of course. So that is that on um, the Milio settings tab. Um, and this support icon is basically the same. It's just in a different place. Um, let's see. And then ED, this is just my profile.
So again, the profile settings is the same that we went through here. It's just another button to get to it a little faster than having to go through settings and then finding another tab within a tab, if that makes sense. But that is all I have for today. If you have any other questions in regards to the settings of Melio, please leave them below and I will answer them as soon as I can. Thank you.